Hey everybody, welcome to another After Effects CS6 tutorial. My name is Buddy Blackford and today we're going to be talking about editing and trimming layers. So sometimes when you're working with layers you you need to turn them off sometimes or maybe you're done using the layer and it's overlapped by another layer you can trim the layer or like cut it so that it doesn't show up or so that it doesn't render in the background and take up more computing power than you really need so I'm gonna show you how to quickly uh, fix that stuff up and let's got let's get on with it so the first way that I usually use to uh, trim layers is um, come down here into the layers panel and um, this is the text layer up here and you can grab the edges of these layers uh, down um, on down on the timeline here and you can click on the edges when there's a double arrow and drag now if you need to really get to a, a spot quickly I usually you can take your uh, current time indicator and put it over and hold and drag and hold shift and it'll snap to where the current time indicator is so now before the layer here it's not going to show up and this way you don't have to uh, key opacity or anything like that you can just have it pop on if you don't need it like any fades or anything like that so say you want this to pop on a few times you can possibly duplicate it and just tr just uh, trim it every like I don't know three seconds or something like that just move this one back and it'll do like a little flashing thing or something like that this is just an example so I mean there you go you guys get what I'm talking about now you can also just uh, grab the layers with the uh, selection tool and drag them as you can see here if you need to do that so like you can do move them around and trim them different ways Another way you can do this is uh, by coming down into the bottom left down here and clicking on this expand or collapse the in and out duration stretch panes. So you click on that and these come up. Now you can manually, manually type in or so if you click on it you can manually type in where you want your endpoint possibly and um, this, this uh, second section here this is the rows or not the rows the seconds sorry so this would be two seconds and then you can see that the the bush is gone and it starts at two seconds now these timelines here the first set of numbers before the colon that's frames and where it says base 24 here that means we're doing 24 frames per second so every 24 right here it'll equal a second so these are your seconds and then it goes to your minutes and then this is in hours same thing with the out I mean, self-explanatory pretty much so there you go in and out and as you can see when I moved it the duration is supposed to be 15 seconds so when I put the out down to 10 it moved the whole layer back so if you wanted to, to go in or start in at two seconds and end at 10 seconds that's eight so you would have to change your duration to eight first before you did it so there's eight and then we'll put this at two and this at 10 Let's see if I did this did this right 923 that's pretty much 10 so we'll just keep that of that and there you go <clears throat> and another way to edit is using this stretch right here so I'm gonna move it back there we go and I'm gonna click and drag on this stretch and you can watch the end of the layer move and it just stretches it out I hit control Z just to bring it back I don't know why I did you can also right click and it brings up your uh, um, your options up here 
So I'll hit OK, and it's basically the same thing. If you go up to your columns up here, and you can see that they're pretty long. Maybe you never want to use stretch. Right click on it, and you can click on hide this, and now it's gone. If you right click again and come down to columns, you can click on it here, and it'll show up. And then there's other ones on here that, like keys and things like that. I mean, I don't have any right now, but you can see uh, you can add different panels and stuff like that. And then just click back on this to take those uh, take those panels off. Uh, one more method for now of uh, trimming layers is uh, to trim in the in the uh, layer panel. So I'm gonna make this bush go all the way out to the end, and then double click down here in the timeline panel on the name and it'll bring up the layer panel now you can set your ins and outs down here using this uh, these little brackets here so you move your current time indicator to maybe to two seconds here hit this current bracket for the endpoint and it'll cut it now and then you hit your other come down to the end and set, set the uh, um, the out point and there you go it cut it So that's another way. Let's X out of here and set everything back to where it was by undoing. The hotkeys for trimming a layer is um, Alt um, and the left bracket or the right bracket. So I'll uh, type that in real quick for you so you know what I'm talking about. Alt or on a Mac is option key and then plus and then it's these brackets right here and those are how that's the uh, hotkeys so I'll just do it real quick down here make sure you're on your uh, make sure you're on your uh, click on your layer and I'm gonna hit all left bracket that does the in Alt right bracket will do the out, and most of the time, I mean, you would really want to use your uh, hotkeys because it's way faster. And uh, one tip is that if you if you um, drag your layers out past the uh, comp, so this one's going past, and maybe I could do it on the end too. Those layers will, or th that time on those layers will be ignored and won't be in the render. Any only thing that will be in the render render is between uh, the time uh, we're here the comp thing. So the work area is what I was trying to say. That's what that's what it will be in. So if your work area is here and this is all past it, then yeah. <clears throat> so that's it for trimming and editing layers. So that's uh pretty important you probably use it a decent amount you can edit video kind of this way you can set crossfades like make these go over top of each other and then you set the opacity for this layer to fade out to the end and then this layer to fade in so that's how you, you could do that or with transitions or anything like that so editing layers is important make sure you know remember the hotkeys and hope you guys learned something today I uh, thank you for watching this one and I'll see you in the next tutorial.